This week we are going to be unboxing my jelly plate which I've had for the last 10 months. I'm going to show you how I use it to create textures for my sketchbook and I'll show you the paints that I use, the brushes that I use, examples of my sketchbooks where I've used this technique and I'm going to be creating new textures for a sketchbook that I'll be taking to Edinburgh. I had so much fun creating these textures on the jelly plate so please join me. You might have seen this sketchbook before on YouTube. This is uh, one that Emma Carlyle gave out to her retreat participants in France and uh, it's a mixed media sketchbook and one of the things that she uh, had set up was a table for jelly plate printing and I am not new to jelly plate printing. I was a printmaker at college and I just adored seeing all these textures. I was like on a mission, but you can see the jelly plate t texture coming through in the background even here. I was um, able to use colored pencils and also markers, neo colors on top. It's in my soul. I just love this type of texture. It just reminded me that the, the fun and the joy that I derive from textures like this, uh, it, it isn't uh, something that uh, has just come out of nowhere. You know, in my early 20s, uh, I really did want to be a printmaker, but <laughs> didn't know how to make money from it. Um, there was this dark texture here, and the reason my face is to one side was I wanted to make the most of that texture. I didn't want to put my face on top of it. And, and you can see some of that warm sort of peach color coming through there. Um, the reason I am finally unraveling my jelly plate is because I'm running out of pages. There's only one, two pages left in this sketchbook. It's worth mentioning, I ordered this jelly plate straight after I came back from Emma Carlyle's retreat and it's been sat in my office underneath my sofa for the last 10 months. Here we have it. It is gel press, gel printing plate to create one of a kind prints. So it's 10 by eight inches and it should be just the right size to uh, get prints in this particular sketchbook, but also uh, some of my other sketchbooks. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Love that squidge. You may have seen people use rollers or brayers to put paint or whatever on their jelly plate. Um, I'm going to try both this rollers and also various uh, knackered old uh, brushes and I think this is going to give some really lovely textures. What I'm using is acrylic gouache. This is by Holbein and uh, I've got all various colours down here. I'm just going to use a few on this jelly plate at random. Leaf green, mint green, see what happens. My reason for wanting to use acrylic gouache is once it's dry it will not reactivate and I want to use it in my watercolour sketchbooks as well and I want the texture to show through but I don't want the watercolour to reactivate normal gouache so hope that will work. I think it needs to, oh gosh, that came out rather a bit too much. I think there's too much on there. I'm just gonna plonk some on the palette. Just do, oh, okay. Let's um, get my sketchbook and see if I can take a print now. Just really, really quickly. Lift that up. Look at that! Oh, I love it! Let's stick some other colours on. Just muck around, see what happens. Oh, it's like playtime. Bit of that, maybe a pink. I'm not going to clean my brush, just see what happens. Oh, 
I think that's a little bit intense, but I might still be able to paint on top of it. I'm gonna use my paintbrush, I think, next, just to spread some of this around. I think we need to add a little bit more. Whoops, uh, let's add some orange. Okay, um, it's almost like it's a bit water repellent and it's making these marks on there which is um, interesting. Let's take a print. Do it this way around this time. See, that is the printmaking type of texture that I loved as a student. Um, let's carry on. Hi, I'm Omar. I'm an artist, illustrator and author. I help other artists improve their skills by sharing my knowledge from filling 50 sketchbooks. If you're enjoying this content, then please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on jelly plates. Have you ever used one? Drop a comment below. And if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's watch some more of this jelly plate printing. some textures to these new sketchbooks um, I am going to Edinburgh tomorrow and I'm going to take a workshop by Kosher Kern and I love creating textured backgrounds and um, I really want to create textured backgrounds um, I've been using uh, fan brushes like this and just doing kind of this um, oh that's a bit dark actually <laughs> oh that's a bit too dark um, but I think it would be nice if we just took a texture print like this. That could be interesting, right? I think jelly plate printing is an incredibly spontaneous and freeing art form. As you can see in my process, I work really quickly, just swirling that brush around without overthinking any of those colours. The beauty of this technique is you never truly know what this final print is going to look like until you turn that sketchbook over and this element of surprise adds a real sense of marvel to each creation because it highlights the endless possibilities that a gel plate can bring. One thing that I'm mindful of is to leave about a third of the page uncovered so it allows the white of the paper to show through. And this approach creates some contrast but also adds depth to the artwork once I start painting on top. I think working with a jelly plate is a wonderful antidote to overthinking. The very nature of this technique encourages a lot more intuitive and spontaneous approach because there is this degree of unpredictability, you can see I'm swirling my brush and mixing all these colours, there isn't precise control and this lack of control liberates you from the need to make everything perfect. So you have to embrace the beauty in the imperfections. I'm making really quick decisions about colours and there are really surprising results. Another thing for me is staying in the moment. Each step is an immediate response to the last and it prevents you from getting bogged down by the outcomes which again I think is really freeing and it allows that creativity to flow a lot more naturally. One other thing that isn't talked about enough is encouraging playfulness when you create art. It becomes a fun activity because it's such a quick pace and it makes each print feel like a new adventure and I think this type of playfulness ignites my passion for creating and reminds me of the joy in the process rather than just that end result. 
Now let's take a look at the final sketchbook with my jelly prints. I think the beauty of printing lies in the unexpected results and when I lift up each page I'm always curious about the initial texture and how it could be developed. Each page is like a new beginning or a new canvas that just invites me to paint on top of it using various brush pens, markers, watercolour, coloured pencil and this type of curiosity drives me to explore the potential. This is the sketchbook where you saw me create the jelly prints and I told you that I was taking this to Edinburgh for a workshop with Kosher Kern and this is what I did on the first full day. I'm not going to talk too much about Edinburgh because um, it's going to be for a separate video once um, I filled up this sketchbook and you can see the texture coming through and uh, one thing I will say is it does inform some of the colour choices that I make in the rest of this piece and uh, you can see again here that there's kind of this uh, muted pink and it's coming through in, in some of the brickwork here. This is a continuous line. Now this is something that um, I did by myself um, when I was sat outside a cafe. I was trying to think through some shapes. This pink is very very prevalent. I don't know what happened how um, it comes through so often but it's just the luck of the draw uh, people often say oh do you, do you sort of um, make this up in advance and I don't know I just turn over the page and whatever's there I work with uh, this was um, inside Edinburgh Castle there's the chapel there and there's this lovely swoosh here um, you know, if I had longer I was trying to work uh, in about 40-45 minutes I would have bought some of this blue uh, colour here into the stonework but that's for another time that's something I'll be mindful of you can see some of the, the texture coming through in this grass here that works okay uh, there's a swoosh of pink and this lovely grey here as well now this was a perfect choice because there's this beautiful um, opera rose pink and I chose pink to do this um, shape study or a, what uh, kosher called the blob <laughs> um, and I think that works really well and for this version it was done on the same day we've got this swoosh of yellow in what would be the sky so it almost looks like the, these people that were climbing up onto um, the balcony area here of the castle we're looking at a sunset lovely swishes here echo some of the greens in the trees collage and this was just a, a line study but I, I think it was saved I didn't really enjoy the line study but I think it was saved by this lovely blue swish in the sky another line study ah oh, this is a really nice piece um, this St Mary's bathhouse supposedly Mary Cruden Scott's bathed in this house <laughs> uh, designed specially for her baths <laughs> but um, there's a lovely sort of enchanted quality about it and there's sort of a vintage print quality as well coming through um, you'll remember me saying that I did used to be a printmaker at college and I love this kind of um, flatness coming through here not so much here but then line work on top it is very um, evocative of sort of vintage printmaking from the 1950s and 60s and this was just a, a collage type study and um, I'm hoping to add a bit more collage and I will show you the rest of this sketchbook once it's filled up and I'll talk a lot more about Scotland 
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps this channel and lets me know that you like this content. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. I try to upload new video every few weeks so you won't want to miss some of the exciting content I have planned. I would love to hear your thoughts about jelly plate printing. Also check out my other videos about textures in my sketchbooks. All the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay amazing.